In this video, we're going to be looking at a question from the Maths Leave Insert Paper 2 from 2022. You'll find some timestamps below the video if you want to skip to a specific question. And also, if you want to go to a different question that I'm covering in this video, check out the playlist that you should find a link for in the description below. And this is question four. In this question, we're going to be doing some statistics. We're going to be de dealing with data and a bit of probability. The start of this question, they give us uh, they give us a group of yes yeah, students. Uh, they don't tell us how many students. A group of students and their grades they get. Um, what's it called? Distinction, high merit, merit, and achievement. And they ask us to put it into a pie chart. Now they've started the pie chart for us. They didn't need to do this. They didn't need to start it for us. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do it if they didn't start it, and then I'll show you maybe the little bit of help they gave us at the start. So, um, the first thing I need to do is add up how many students there are. So if we just add these numbers together, yeah, let me write that out here, this will be help. Uh, 8 plus 12 plus 39 plus 13, and that adds up to 72. Now the other thing we need to know about pie chart is, it's a circle. And a circle is made up of 360 degrees. And we need to know the degrees to draw it. They've given us uh, 40 degrees here for the distinction already. But how we, we would get it from the very start if they didn't give us that. And uh, we know there's 50, 72 students and we know a circle adds up to 360. So if we just uh, divide it, I'll do it over here somewhere. 360 divided by 72, that equals five degrees for every student. Every student is gonna get five degrees of this circle. So um, eight students will get 40 degrees. And that's how we could have done from the very start. We could have just divided 40 by eight to get again, five students, uh, sorry, one student gets five degrees each. Uh, 12 students will get 60 degrees. Um, 39 students gets 195. And 13 students get 65. If we were to add all this together, and it's probably something, you, a good idea to check, we would get 360 degrees. Now, how to draw it? I can't really show you how to draw it too well because I don't have a protractor, um, but I guess I could talk you through it. So we have 40 in, let's do 60 next. What I would do is I pick whatever side you want to start from. Um, I'll take this line, I, this in a pencil, very light pencil. Draw a straight line across, no, not even the whole way. Uh, just to give something to put your protractor on. Put your protractor on here and get 60 degrees. Read 60 degrees off your protractor, which would probably be something like over here. Put a little dot, ruler, draw a line. That's your 60 now, which was a high merit. To get um, the 195, again, I'd start again with a, um, remember this is a light pencil, so you should barely see this line. I'll rub it out here. You don't have to rub it out in the exam. You can leave the little pencil marks in. Um, I'd go again here, and I'd get 195. And the problem with that is, protractor only goes up to 180. 180 gets you all the way here. So we need another 15 degrees. So really under your protractor, I'd turn it over and get 15 degrees and point over here somewhere. So that's how you get 195. You actually find 15 degrees going the other way. This angle is 195 then, uh, 195, and that was for merit. You don't have to draw the last one then, it's already drawn in for you. It is uh, 65 degrees, and that was achieved. Now what you do in your exam is get your protractor and check. Check if this is right, it will never be exactly right, there will be lots of little errors as you went around. Um, so it should look something between 60 and 70 degrees. So you know you're roughly right then. If, it, if you were left with like a, a little small sliver, 10 degrees, you've made a big mistake somewhere. Go find the mistake. If you're left with a big massive wedge of like 90 degrees, you've made a big mistake somewhere. Go find your error. But if it's only a little off, don't worry about it, you're, you're finished. Okay, for part B, they give us um, this table here. It's a test they give students um, a reading test and they normalized it so the average student gets 100. Most people are average. Uh, most people are in the middle, lots of students are here. Not many people got a really high score 
and not many people got a really low score. Okay, so they ask you what percentage of people scores between 80 and 120? That's impossible to answer from this, except to give us one more bit of information. They told us the standard deviation is equal to 20. Now, you can answer this question by uh, using, ah, here they are, using your, your um, formula book. Is that what it's called? Formula and table book. It's a really, I wouldn't say it's really difficult, but it's a difficult enough question, and you don't do it in the ordinary level. It's done in college level, honours level, but there is answers. There's answers to get this question. The reason I'm telling you all that is, in the ordinary level, you're not expected to calculate the answer. You're expected to memorize it. It's called the empirical rule. Um, yeah, here, I'm just checking the numbers there. So it's called the empirical rule. And you're asked to sort of memorize, let me just draw this again. Just memorize that when you're between one standard deviation, one standard deviation, how many people are in the middle between one standard deviation? And that number is 68. The real number, did I write it down here? No, you can look it up in the formula book, uh, but it w it's something like 68.1 something, something. You get a lot more exact, but roughly 68%. And ordinary student, you're expected to memorize this number. And then, um, let me do it here. This is meant to be the same drawing three times. Two standard deviations, a bit of a bigger area. Two of these standard deviations. How many people are in this area and you're expected to remember, yeah, it's 95%. Most people, most people are within two standard deviations. Um, right, so how do you answer this question? They asked you how many are between 80 and 120 and they told you the standard deviation is 20. So they're expecting you to notice that it's how many are between one standard deviation, how many are within one standard deviation. So you just answer this first part, part one. Um, you just say 68%, um, sorry, 68%. Now that's a bit dangerous, so I would explain yourself a little bit. Uh, oh, they actually tell you, I just noticed now in the exam, use the empirical rule. Use the empirical rule. So you, but you're like I said, you're expected to memorize this. And um, if you drew a couple of pictures like this, and you forgot this number, maybe you could put the number sixty-five. You, you just didn't remember the number. If you drew a couple of pictures like this and explained in English roughly what I said, I, I assume most examiners would give you full marks. Certainly most marks. Um, but anyway, that's the answer, 68%. Need to just memorize these two numbers. For part two, I can leave all this on the board because I'm going to use it again. They ask you, they say the top 2.5% of scores were given the grade exceptional. Um, what score did they get? Like, what was the least grade they got? How high of a grade did you need to get exceptional? Again, this seems impossible, uh, except they gave you that clue. Use the empirical rule. Top 2.5%, that's a number, this number should look similar. Because 95 are between here, that means 5% are out here. And there's two of the areas, so that means 2.5% must be here, and 2.5% must be down there, roughly at least. And they told us the top 2.5%. So we should be looking at two standard deviations, and they told us a standard deviation is. So two standard deviations, one is 120, two is 140. So the answer, um, who got, um, yeah, who got higher than 2.5? Anything over 140. Oh, sorry, the least score, the, the smallest number to get you in the top, 2.5%, is 140. Anything above this would also get you in there. So basically, yeah, that's uh, it's 140 there. Anybody got higher is just, more and more in that area. Okay, um, yeah, that's, that, hopefully that answers. I don't like the empirical rule. I don't like memorizing things. Um, I like working out what, where this comes from, but really I'm, I'm not allowed to teach you if you, well, I am allowed, it's YouTube, it's not, it's not my job right now. Um, if you wanna learn more about it, uh, go to some of my honors videos, I guess. I probably cover it in, in some of those or search anywhere on YouTube or ask a teacher. There is more to it. You're not just, this, these numbers aren't made up. You, you're just being asked to memorize them. 
Okay, part uh, C of this question um, gives you these five, six numbers. So one, two, three, yes, yeah, six numbers. And they ask us to find the range and the standard deviation of these numbers. So the range, um, what you're looking for is the largest number and the smallest number and take them away. So you can just put them in order or you just look through what's the biggest number. Be 113, like max on the and the smallest number would be 82, minimum. So we just take them away. 113 minus 82 is equal to uh, 31. Yes, that's what I get. And that's the range. And then standard deviation. Now here's where you might get into trouble. Um, if you were to look up, sorry about that. If you were to look up your tables book, a formula for standard deviation, it's, um, I have to try and remember it. Um, it's something like this, the sum of the yeah, x minus the mean all divided by n. Oh, squared. Yeah, squared. yeah, I think that's it. Forgive me if it's not, because you don't have to do all this. You could do it all by hand. You'd have to work out the mean of this. Not too hard, you could do that. But then you'd have to do, this sum means to do a five, six times. This would be very messy and awkward. You don't have to do any of that. Learn how to use your calculator. Your calculator has a statistics part. You simply put all six of these numbers into your calculator. And then you, I, I, no point showing you mine because lots of calculators are different. Um, you then uh, ask the calculator to give you all the different stats. And they'll give you the maximum, the minimum. They'll give you the mean, the median. They'll give you loads of things that you probably don't even understand. I, I don't understand when I see them. One of the things they give you will be standard deviation and it will say 9.758 something, something, something. The exam only asks for one decimal place though. So that's 9.78. So, oh sorry, let me, let me just look at that again a bit. One decimal place is, is this closer to 80 or 70? Oh, it's too hard to tell. Let's go an extra digit. Is this closer to 800 or 700? Well, it's closer to 800, so 9.8 is the answer there. And the calculator will do all that. Um, whenever the calculator does work for you, try and, in a bit of English, write down what you did, the fact that the calculator helped you, just in case the, you make some little mistake here. Okay, if you have any follow-on questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, have a great day.